Camille again. Um, I am going to make a really delicious dessert for you, a raw dessert um, back from the days of my raw food days. Anyway, um, we're going to do this really fast. The sun is setting over Encinitas, and um, I got a lot of things to do, so let's hop to it. Um, obviously, subscribe up top, first of all. Um, all of the ingredients will be posted below. I want you guys to be cooking this with me. Don't just be a looky-loo spectator. Go get your ingredients, come back, turn on the video, and make this bomb diggity thing with me. Okay, great. So that being said, we are going to start with a crust. In the crust, we are pulsing. We're using the amazing food processor here. Um, I'm going to flip this down a little bit. Um, we are using uh, two and a half cups of whole pecans. Pulse that up real fast. Good, good. Okay, so to that then we are adding, can't read my writing, um, two cups of dates. These are delicata dates. Grinding that in. And then, okay, so that's looking good. It's all coarsely ground all together. Uh, to that, I'm going to add about three, te three teaspoons of maple syrup and a quarter, three teaspoons of maple syrup, um, about a half a teaspoon of salt. And then let's do, let's start with um, a quarter cup, which is four tablespoons of melted coconut oil. Now the reason, the reason why I like to use the, um, the coconut oil is because um, it really helps to um, once this firms up, well, once this goes in the fridge, the coconut oil you know, gets really, really hard and it's going to help firm it up. Holy moly, that's good. Mm. Oh, I forgot. Really important. Um, nutmeg. Nutmeg, nutmeg is so delicious. Let's do, um, a teaspoon of nutmeg. And actually, I'm going to do another. I personally like my desserts to be a little bit salty. I like everything a little salty. I'm going to add another half teaspoon of salt. You don't have to, but I am. Uh, so we had one. I'm actually still writing this recipe, as you can see. So you guys are like experiencing history in the making and stuff. Um, I say one teaspoon of nutmeg. Let's pulse that again. We had our quarter cup of coconut oil. Doo -doo -doo! Atta, atta, atta. Oh my god, that's so good. It's so good. So good. I hope it's all incorporated. It probably would have been smart. Here, let's rewind. To put the salt and the nutmeg in with the pecans, it would have incorporated better. But either way, that's wonderful. Okay, so then, hmm, you may want, yeah, I like the extra salt. You may want to stick to the half a teaspoon now that I think about it. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, so now I am going to pop this out. What I have here, I have two eight-inch cake pans, and I lined them with um 
with saran wrap. You don't have to do that, but this is going to allow it to pop out easily. I don't like cutting my dessert in the pan because it ruins the pan. So once it's cold, you can actually lift the entire thing out and then cut, you know, cut it that way. Um, if you like cutting into your pans, but my pans are expensive, I don't. So now I'm taking this, man, this looks like a Lara bar. And I'm going to divide it between the two pans. Oh, also, um, if you want to half this recipe, you can. You probably, you may only want one. Except it's going to be delicious, so that means you will want two. I don't know. Okay. So, I'm just pressing, um... I'm just pressing this into the pan. Oh, it also, I didn't tell you this, um, but, and I didn't actually soak these. I soaked my other nuts. It's really a, um, a very, very good idea to get into the habit of soaking your nuts. Um, nuts, just like beans, have um, enzyme inhibitors on the outside of them. They evolved that way to keep bugs off of them, but they're not so great for us. So um, if you soak your nuts, like almonds and the denser nuts you want to soak overnight, something like cashews, you can do less. But when you soak them, the, nu the nutrients become more available. You get off that, that enzyme inhibitor coating. They're a lot easier to digest. That means they won't make you fart or make you feel gross. So um, definitely do that. And if you want your nuts then to be like dried or like roasted, you can soak them, you know, drain them, and then stick them in the oven to dry them back out again, if you want that. So I definitely, I didn't do that with the pecans, I sort of forgot, but definitely do that. I did it with my Brazil nuts and my cashews. Okay, so here we have, um, our pie crust. See? See? So now I'm going to pop these in the fridge and let the coconut oil harden up. I'm my fridge! Okay, in the fridge. Now I'm going to give this a quick rinse. Okay, so there's that. Hello again. Okay, so now we're going to do the filling. So I have, um, right here I have two cups of, um, of soaked cashews and one cup of soaked Brazil nuts. All that in. The Brazil nuts are pretty thick, so you want to you want to really uh, soak them for a while. Let that grind up. So to this, I'm going to, so now that these are all, that these are getting nice and chopped, I'm going to begin um, streaming in some water into it. That's going to allow it to become more like a cream. So um, I wrote a cup. We'll see if I need the entire cup. Coconut oil, let's see, we got one, 
two, three, four. So another quarter cup of coconut oil. And I have some lemon juice. Oh man, that's messy. Ah! One. Two tablespoons of lemon. That might have been too much. We'll see. That was messy lemon. It just got all in my salt. Okay. Now I'm going to do a... I, I wanted vanilla bean, but they didn't have any at the store, so I just have this um, alcohol-free vanilla extract. I'm going to add in um, two, two teaspoons of this. And then another quarter cup of maple syrup. I might have put in too much lemon just now. We'll have to wait and see. Mmm. That's good. That's good enough, yeah. Not too much lemon. We'll do another just a little pinch of salt. Oh, I forgot. Duh. So, this will be perfect. I'm adding two really ripe bananas, okay? Yeah, two really ripe bananas. And a few tablespoons. Mmm. I wish you were here right now to taste it. It's really good. I wish my friend Michael Mahoney Pierce was here. He was my he was my raw food partner in crime. We did this, we were going to do this raw food delivery service several years ago. We were like so into it. And I was spending like every day in my kitchen for six weeks making all these new recipes. And then after six weeks I said, I can't eat like this anymore. Even though and some things about it were super awesome, I couldn't not eat meat. And I didn't really actually feel that great. So now I have this awesome paleo diet where I get to eat meat and eggs. And I still get to eat all the raw desserts. It's like perfect. It's like totally perfect. Okay, so um, also just like to have everything all balanced out and have it not be too sweet. So this is not that sweet. Oh, the coconut. Um, actually, I don't know if I want to add that. No, I guess it will. Okay, so to that I'm going to add um, two cups of shredded coconut. I'm going to add another banana. So we're going to see three bananas. And another teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, yeah, baby. Yep, it's delicious. Okay, so 
That is our filling. So now to assemble, so we have our two crusts. So now I have um, some firmer bananas, like um, how many? Three really firm bananas. Not really firm, but not as ripe as the ones I blended in. And I'm just going to put this in a layer across the bottom. Doesn't need to be perfect. It's going to give more banana flavor. And it's also going to create a little bit of a barrier between the um, between the filling and the crust. I don't know if the crust would get soggy. I mean, it is just nuts, but it's also going to keep the bananas from um, from getting brown. You could, if you were going to be serving this right away, you could put the bananas right on top. But I'm not serving this right away, so I'm putting the bananas on the bottom because. Nobody likes brown bananas. That is word to the wise. Nobody wants a brown banana. So we're going to give the people what they want. Non-brown bananas. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So anyway, yeah, this is going to be delicious. I'm very excited to eat it. Very excited for you to try it at home. How easy is this, you guys? This is, what is this like? Going to be like a 15-minute video? So, there we have our bananas all in their little layer. Okay, now I'm going to take our cashew cream or cashew Brazil nut, coconut, lemon cream. I'm going to make, put that right over the top. So yeah, it's really gooey right now. And it should firm up. If all goes as planned, this will get hard. Haha. Uh -huh. That's what she said. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, okay. This is what happens, guys, when I spend my entire day alone. Bad jokes. Really bad jokes. We need Linda here. Because normally she's the one that does the bad jokes. And I can just laugh at her. Okay, so now we have... That right there. Even it out a little bit. So then you're gonna, I'm gonna put another layer of, um, you guys see that? I'm gonna put another layer of saran wrap on top of this. I'm gonna put another layer of saran wrap on top of this. And then I am going to um, let this chill. And then to serve it, um, I'm just gonna pull it out and cut it into slices. And um, serve it with a little, you could do another couple slices of banana. You could do um, some, a little bit more coconut. You can do banana and coconut and cinnamon or nutmeg or whatever. Oh, some freshly shaved nutmeg. Maybe I'll do that. Um, but I will be taking a picture of this tomorrow when the sun comes back up. So you guys can see um, the finished product and how to style it. But um, yeah, raw desserts are the bomb. No refined sugar. No grains, super delicious, nutritious stuff. You don't have to be guilty about it at all. And that's how you should eat desserts. Yep. Okay, anyway, 